I mean, genetic testing in neurological disorders is not much different from any other genetic testing. Um, basically, what we're trying to find out is where the mutation is or where the error is in our genotype. Um, what's happened now is that we have the, the, the technology, the expertise and the skills to do it. Um, maybe 20 years uh, back, we didn't have these resources. Uh, but the problem we have now is that not, not many people tap into it, um, or many are not aware that you can actually get a specific genetic diagnosis for a child, for a specific neurological disorder. Because uh, this is something that has come in the last couple of decades, and as we grow older, we don't keep up with our basic science, and we tend to forget what we've learned, and just concentrate on what skills we're acquiring on a daily basis during our practice. So um, hopefully, um, bringing out an awareness of the availability of different genetic tests, um, especially with neurological disorders, um, I think would be a good idea you know, to take forward and, and present it to the pediatricians uh, in the country. Yes, um, the, there are different types of genetic tests. Um, many years ago we could only do what is called as a karyotype. We could look at the chromosomes. Uh, it's basically, uh, if I'm standing on the moon and I'm looking at uh, Earth, um, I can see continents, their shapes, their sizes. That's what chromosomal analysis was about. But the fact that we have now a very deep genetic testing with array testing, uh, exome sequencing, and many others, it's almost like Google Earth, where I can focus into an individual continent, into a country, uh, into a city, and onto a street even, and see an individual person standing there. It's that how deeply we go with uh, genetic testing now. And it's all there. It's just that we need to be aware of it and request appropriate tests when the time comes. That's, that's an excellent question because um, I think that's what parents ask me all the time. Why? Why do I need a genetic diagnosis for my child? Um, and uh, many times we say that even if you get a genetic diagnosis, it doesn't mean your child is going to have an eventual treatment or a cure for the condition. Um, and at times it's difficult to convince them because the tests are expensive if they're done privately and uh, they, are, uh, they need the right resources to do them. Um, the advantage of finding the specific genetic diagnosis is the fact that you close the case. Uh, many parents blame themselves for what happened to their child. You can take that away from them. You can give a prognosis, what to expect. You can anticipate problems in the future. You can um, give genetic counseling to the family, uh, and even family far off, cousins and brothers and so forth. Uh, you can do pre-genetic testing in some of these children, uh, the future pregnancies, for example. And uh, overall, you can stop them from having a number of investigations that have been carried out to find an answer for the child by having a specific genetic test. Um, there are basically no risks as such. Um, if you call um, uh, you know, uh, a blood test a risk as such, because you take a blood sample and uh, you take out a DNA from there, um, you can look at the chromosomes through that DNA, uh, through that sample, or you can look at uh, deep, deeper into the genes through the DNA. All you need is a blood sample. Sometimes um, the cells are taken off from the buccal mucosa, which is inside your mouth, and sometimes it's a simple blood test. Some tests are done here in the UAE. Sometimes you have to send the samples abroad uh, to get the results, but there are no risks involved. It's when it comes to the results of the tests, that's when there are some caveats about how you interpret it and how you convey those to parents. And there are implications for not just the child, but there might be implications for the family. Uh, as well. um, I haven't been very long in this country, I have to say, but uh, there are lots of genetic conditions in this part of the world. Uh, because we, we see um, some consanguinity, we see um, children who come to us with a specific metabolic problem or neurogenetic problem who've had pretty much every test that you can think of um, and a very basic genetic test. And when I think, okay, this child might have a specific syndrome or uh, a genetic uh, condition, I, I test for the specific condition. But there are times when I can't pinpoint, I can't make a spot diagnosis and I say, okay, you have to see a geneticist because I'm not a geneticist. But sometimes I send the sample myself to look at either the important bits of the DNA in the child or the whole uh, exome sequencing. Um, so it's, it's individualizing uh, genetic testing for a specific child rather than a blanket uh, test by the way.
think awareness is the most important thing. Um, awareness of the fact that uh, things like um, a child having uh, spasms or spasticity or weakness, uh, it's not a diagnosis, it is a symptom or a sign. I've had children coming to me with cerebral palsy just because their legs were stiff when they were two years of age, but that's not the diagnosis. Cerebral palsy itself is a, is a symptomatic uh, description, it is not a diagnosis. And many of the children, when you test them genetically, you get an answer of why this might have happened. And the benefits that I told you kind of can be extrapolated onto those individual children. So um, its benefits are manifold, but the challenges are one is the expense. In the private sector, it's obviously the cost of the test and who bears it. In the government sector, they do a lot of tests here locally, um, but uh, coverage for the tests, some of the tests that are sent outside the country needs to be looked into. And, um, if we have genetic labs in this country, either collaborating with international labs or having our own, that would be a fantastic way forward to get over most of these challenges, I think. Um, I think, um, again, that's probably the most relevant question to this uh, interview. Um, the reason I want uh, to deliver this talk is because um, I have um, interest in genetics over the last five or six years. I'm not a geneticist by profession. Uh, I'm a neurologist, but I know that, say, in 1995, mid-90s, if I was sitting in a clinic and I was seeing a child or an adult with a neurological problem, I could test for eight genes. I could just say, if, you, if I think you, your condition belongs to one of these eight genes, I'll test it. Otherwise, no, I don't have the capability of testing anything. Today, we can test for more than 250 conditions, just in neurology. So I have the tools, I have the resources available, so why not deliver it? The problem is I will not be saying all children with neurological disorders. Most of the children with neurological disorders are seen by the hundreds of pediatricians that are around. And for them to be aware that there is, diagnostically, there are options available um, outside of just karyotype is important. And, and basically, just to go back and, and revise our basic science and to just uh, share basic our, our, our knowledge of what we know of genes or DNA or chromosome, I think it's absolutely essential at this point of time. Um, there are very few conferences or um, congresses that bring um, you know a lot of speakers together. Um, and having one conference over two or three days where a pediatrician um, from anywhere across the Middle East or the Arab world comes down and expects an update and pretty much every uh, subspeciality or every system of the body, um, it's, it's rare to find that. So most of the uh, pediatric congresses that I held um, in, um, in Dubai uh, that I have seen in my short uh, tenure here are well attended because one, uh, Dubai is a nice place to be for many people who don't work in Dubai, and, and two, because you have um, the expertise from all over the country and even outside the country coming in and sharing the knowledge with the audience that's going to come in. So, I mean, there's nothing better than having a pediatric congress uh, or conference in, in Dubai and having different sessions for individual systems involved.